right, we're going to have a look at an 8 wire stepper motor and how it connects up. So uh, let's, uh, let's have a quick look at the wires and see what we've got. We've got 8 wires coming out of the motor. Uh, here we go. Kind of working one handed here, but I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. Let's sort these out. And what we've got, the colours aren't too important, but the stripes are. We've got a red, black, blue, and a green. We've also got a stripy red, stripy black stripy blue and a stripy green. We're going to use these to go to the um, stepper driver board and these ones we're going to connect the motor together in series operation so it uses a bit less current. So um, let's see what happens um, with the meter first to verify what uh, is connected to what. So if you've got a meter pop it onto the resistance scale It's really 0 0.2, 0 0.3, that's fine. Um, that's the lead's resistance, or it's this cheap ass meter not being very accurate. Right, so we'll have a look and see what we've got. Now, uh, if we start off with the red lead uh, and then connect to um, the green lead, uh, the black lead, sorry, um, no connection, uh, red and blue. Red and blue, nothing. Red and green. Nothing. Is that actually working at all? Yeah. Alright, well let's have a look at what we've got here then. So we've got the red and the red stripe. And actually that does make it so there's a coil there there's a coil between the red and the red stripe and in fact if we meter out on the other leads we can use a circuit tester the coils are only about 1.2 ohms anyway so we'll see that the only connection is between the red stripey and the red solid so let's have a look at the green one quickly the green one and the green stripey that's a coil, uh, the blue and the blue stripey, there's another coil, right, and then the, uh, what else have we got here, did I do the green one, I can't remember, I don't really care now, I've proved what we're looking to do, so there's actually four coils in this, and we only want two, effectively, to make the thing run. So we need to connect some wires together. So we know that um, these are the other ends of these coils and we want to run them uh, in series. So what we'll do is we're going to start to connect together some of these. Now the sequence that we want on the controller is uh, red, blue, green, black. Uh, red red, blue, red and blue is going to be um, one pair of coils and then the uh, green and black is going to be the other one so that we want the driver to see that at the moment it won't do anything because the, these ends aren't connected to anything so immediately by looking at the, the red, blue, green, black so that's uh, red for A, um, blue for A bar that's the A with the dash on top of it B is the green one, and B bar, B with a dash on top, uh, is the black lead. So that's how we would normally cook this up. So what do we do with these ends here? We've got a bit of a clue to start with, because we've got um, the red and the blue, and the green and the black. So what we can do then is take the uh, red and the blue stripe, just ignore those for a minute, the red and the blue stripes, and we connect them together. So I'm going to do that with a bit of a caveman chop block here, just for the fun of it. There we go. 
this is a quick and simple how-to. So let's, I'll probably speed some of this stuff up. You can't see us sitting there watching all of this nonsense with these wires. So the red and the stripe and the blue and the stripe are connected together and the black and the stripe. Don't connect them all together, that will that will not cause any happiness at all. What we want is some joy out of this thing rather than some grief. There we go. So that's that and that's that. Now before we didn't have any connections between those primary colours there. But if we have a look with the meter now what we can see is that uh, we're looking for a connection between the red and the blue now so if we have a look at that because that should be effectively one coil made out of two coils and we've got 2.8 ohms on there between there and there if I take the red one and connect it to any of the other leads the green one no connection the black one no connection so between the black and the uh, green one, which is our other coil now, there's a black one, there's a green one, uh, we're getting uh, 2.6, 2.7 ohms, depending on how good your meter is. This is good enough for what we want to do. You can use a little light bulb or anything to, to see whether there's continuity or not. Your colours might be slightly different, but you'll probably find that the ones with the stripes are the ones that are the um, ones you need to common together not all of them, just, just the side, one side and the other side, then it gives you your standard four wires to use it like an ordinary servo. So let's have a look at uh, hooking this up to one of these um, uh, drivers um, that I've got here. Um, just bear with me a sec, I'll put this thing back together again and I'll explain how to hook this up quickly. Right, here we go. This is a um, pretty standard um, stepper driver. Um, this shows the current table, this shows the steps and all that stuff. We're not really interested in any of that at the moment. One thing we will do with this though is um, get hold of, you see these things here that you've been screwing everything in and out of so carefully and that. They're, they're, they're actually, they actually plug in these things you can pull them out which is quite handy for light rewiring and stuff like that which you probably didn't realize but there we go first job is to get hold of this uh, and um, and throw it away because um, if you connect that up uh, none of this actually works that's it says on here ENA enable well actually that should be disable because if you connect that up this will not that will inhibit this drive from doing anything so that's that's not going to bring any joy into your life by connecting that so first job is to uh, get rid of that uh, if you've got some safety stuff you need to hook it up hook it up later on let's just get the thing working to start with so the bits we're interested in uh, basically are are these bits here so we've on here instead of a and a bar we've got a plus and a minus B plus and B minus, we don't care about that, we've got four wires, four connections, uh, let's get it hooked up and, um, and get something moving which would be quite nice. So uh, I think we had uh, red for um, A, so we'll do that, there we go, we'll throw some power on this and get it working in a minute. There's A. Uh, which was that, um, then blue for the next one, you can rewind this and look at it slower if you need to. There we go, quick and simple. If you want to use them like that, then just hook this up nice and easy. Here's your blue wire, simple as. And there's a the black wire. And there we go because you can swap them out then see if you need to that's quite cool there we go one two three four plug it in and that should be your step up ready to step so we'll try that out in a sec just going to get things reorganized here a little bit
Right, well we're done with the meter for a minute, let's get that out of the way. Here's my big ass power supply. It's a 44 volt jobby. Uh, don't ask me where I got it from, apparently it's from GPO equipment or something or another. I got that on eBay ages ago. Um, don't even ask. No idea. Chunky switch mode jobby. Uh, we need to get some power on this thing. I've got um, plus V goes in here. There we go. And there's my ground. Straight in, no messing. Do, 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 do. I'm going to save a little bit of time here by unplugging this. And I've got a controller over here. This one I produced, this one I, I prepared earlier on. Um, is this going to reach? Probably not. This is hooked up to a computer. Uh, and this has like got the direction and uh, you're going to ask what does what on this because this is a this is poor with the documentation and stuff so I'll put on the screen now uh, a diagram showing what the heck pin goes to what thing on here because without that you're going to be forever trying to work out what what goes where uh, don't ask where I got the lead from because I made that myself you can buy them cheap as chips on eBay or other are available you can buy things off uh, so basically all we've hooked up here is the um, uh, direction and step and this one on the end here, here, here and here uh, and also uh, here are the ground connection points for the um, um, connections. So and I've got 5 volts coming in there uh, so let's plug that into here and see what happens. Right so that goes in there. This goes in here. The other bit can stay in the bin because we don't need that. That was boring. Here's our stepper motor. Here's the connections we've just rigged. And I'm going to put power supply on now. So if it all goes dark now, you know that I've hooked something up wrong. There we go. Nice satisfying point from the stepper motor. There's the stuff. All ready to roll. And uh, let's uh, let's see what happens. So um, I might do a bit of split screen here or something. I've just got this hooked up with um, the old mandatory um, uh, Mac uh, Mac 3 demo here uh, at the moment. So I've set up some stuff on there. I'm not going to bore you with that. There's plenty of videos on that. So if we hit the left button, there she goes, and the right button. And there she goes. Uh, it's going to the fair old lick actually. I might slow that down a bit, it's a bit wild, isn't it? It's just I didn't think it would go that fast. Oh of course I haven't got the micro step on there. I swapped the driver out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would explain that. Um, I've got the steps set all different on this one, but um, yeah, it's certainly going. <laughs> uh, so there we are. That's um, that's how to get an eight wire stepper motor working. Um, if you do hook this up and something goes wrong, and it causes some damage or you hurt yourself, make sure you video it while you're doing it and put it on YouTube. And uh, I could do with a good laugh. Uh, just send me the link. Um, this is just for entertainment only uh, and it's only advice if you break anything or hurt yourself uh, that's down to you nothing to do with me but I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video um, if anybody can actually be bothered to watch it or any of the other videos I've been bothered to, to do that would be much appreciated um, and if it saves you a bit of time and effort great uh, enjoy oh, I'll be doing some more stuff later on if this goes well so uh, that's it that was a bit boring but um, yeah, let's hit that again. That's funny. That's really going for it, isn't it? Oh, well, right. I've, oh, no, that's uh, probably just as well. Ah, one more time. I'd say that's rapid. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, then. Bye now.